and welcome to lesson 101 on rounding mixed numbers to the nearest whole number. So to round a mixed number, you've got to look to see if the numerator, which is the top number of the fraction, is half or more than half of the denominator of that fraction, okay? So if it's a one half, that's great. If it is a more than half, because seven is more than half of eight, then that's great too. Then this is what you do. If it's less than half, you keep the whole number the same. So we're talking about mixed numbers, right? So if it was like three and one third, well, one is less than half of three. And so the whole number would stay the same. Your answer would just be three. All right, but if it is half or more, you're going to add one whole to the whole. So for example, if instead this was three and two thirds, well, because two is more than half of three, I'm gonna round this up to one whole and I'm gonna add a whole to this whole, whatever amount of holes I have here. So my final answer will be four. When rounding, your, your whole number is either going to stay the same or it's going to go up just one whole number. It's never going to go down to a 2 or up to a 5. You will just round it either up once or it'll stay at the same whole number. Here's what's basically happening. Okay, here's a number line. Here I've got 7. There I've got 8. And in between 7 and 8 are all these other numbers. All right, they're shown by fractions. They're shown by decimals. So in the middle, right in the middle, we have seven and a half. Right now we're talking about mixed numbers because we're showing it with fraction. In future lessons, I think it's two lessons away, we're going to learn that it could also be shown as a decimal. So any of the numbers here less than a half are closer to seven, which is why we're just going to say seven instead of eight, okay, because we're rounding it to a whole number. Anything between seven and a half and eight are closer to eight. If I've got more than seven and a half, then it's closer to eight than it is to seven, so it's gonna round up to eight. Let's jump right into the examples. The directions just say to round. We're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So here I've got seven and three fourths. My question I'm really figuring out is, is this closer to seven? or is it closer to eight? I'm gonna look at my numerator. Is my numerator half or more than half of four? Well, what is half of four? Two, and three is more than two, so this is going to round up to eight. Okay, B, seven and one third. Okay, is one, half or more than half of three? No, it's not. So it's going to round down to zero, which means we're not adding a whole number to seven, so this number will stay at seven. If you think of what we were doing before, is it gonna go up to eight or stay to seven? It's gonna stay at seven. Okay, C, six and two-fifths is two half of five or more than half? Well, what is half of five? Half of five is 2.5. So even though this has a two in it, just two is smaller than 2.5. So because it's not half of five, it's going to round down and this is going to stay at six. All right, do the last one on your own. Figure out if it's half of six and then either round it down to 11 or up to 12. Here is what this is useful for. If a question asks you to estimate the product of eight and four fifths and four and one fourth, what we'll do is first we're gonna round those to both be whole numbers, and then we will multiply them because it's asking for the product, which is multiplication. So eight and four fifths, four, is more than half of five, it's more than 2.5, so this is gonna become nine, and four and, a, four and one fourth, one 
is less than half of 4 because half of 4 is 2. So this is just going to stay 4. And then 9 times 4 is good, 36. So there's our answer. Here's F. <clears throat> I want you to do this one on your own. Estimate the sum. First, you're going to round this number and this number to be whole numbers. And then, because it's asking, <coughs> excuse me, I keep coughing. Because it is asking for the sum, you are going to add those numbers together. Go ahead and get to work. Thank you.